Uh, good afternoon. Uh, we are, the veteran that we will be interviewing today, his name is Ernest L. Mitchell. Um, Ernest was born in October, uh, October the 27th, 1929. I believe he served in the Korean War. And the highest rank you held, highest rank you held was corporal. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay. And today is the January the 18th. 2000, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, February the 18th, 2009, and we're located at the uh, Southfield Public Library, and um, we have present with us this afternoon, uh, Dan Brightwell, who is the president of the Southfield Veterans Commission, and uh, Ethel uh, Grossman is a member of the Southfield Veterans Commission, and our recording, the man who will be doing the recording is Tim Workus. He is also a member of the Southfield Veterans Commission. I'm Felix L. Selden, and I'll be your interviewer this afternoon. Ernest, uh, we'll just get started by, I'd like to ask you a few questions about uh, just some preliminary information. Where were you born, Ernest? <coughs> Where was I? Where were you born? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I was born in Herma Keeper Hospital. Okay, and what? Uh, and what city? In Detroit, Michigan. In Detroit, Michigan. Okay. And uh, how many members? Of, how many? What is your family makeup? Well, how many brothers? How many sisters? Well, I, I had a older brother, two years older than me. And what and were the names? His name was Jesse Mitchell. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the other, yet another brother, two brothers. Jesse, two brothers, yes. The two brothers. One was, the first one was what? The oldest one was. Jesse, he about two years older than. And him. the other brother? No, just me and him. Oh, just two, just two. Yes, of you, uh, two. yes, him. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any sisters? No. No sisters. Okay. 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 And your mother and father, uh, what kind of work uh, did your father do? Where did he work? Well, you mean prior uh, doing what year? Doing the lean years? Or well, just tell us just a little bit about what he did, what kind of work he did. Well, back there in around 38 and everything, he would work with Mr. Lee's Coal Company. Yeah, back then, 38, and then uh, when Ford and General Motors, the Industrial Revolution, were hiring, then he was able to get a letter, you know, from one of the, uh, Reverend Martin, and, and, and from New go Light to Kelsey Church. Hey, get it from New Light Church. New Light Baptist Church, okay. Yeah, you know, and, and he was able to work at Kelsey Hey. And did he retire from Kelsey Hayes? No, he left Kelsey Hayes as Chrysler Jefferson for paying more money. So that's where he had, he ended up in retiring from Chrysler Jefferson. He was a high load driver. Okay. And he loved that. What kind of what kind of work did your mother do? My mother? Back then she worked domestic worker. Okay. You know, you know, out there in Bloomfield, and uh, you know, uh, cooking. She, she was chief of cooking for maybe for the Dodgers, and you know, different people. Did she live in, or did she come back? Six dollars a day, and car fare, and there was no benefits. Mm -hmm. But when Kennedy got in. My mother had rheumatoid arthritis. She got to the place that she wasn't able to work. Then when Kennedy got in there, President Kennedy got in there. He said, these people have been working for you in service. They desire to have some benefits. So they paid her. She was able to get workman's compensation. Wasn't that wonderful? Amen. Then she had a pension coming from the, the city. You know, okay. Was, and then you know that's a, she was a hallelujah good time for us. I can imagine. Because before she had nothing coming in. 
Okay, then you you had a felt like you had a wonderful family life there, mother yes. and father. And what were you doing uh, before entering the service? You see, when I was in the service, we were going to, uh, what? Before coming no, out to the service, what? Well, no question high school. We were doing John, John Conyers and, and Aubrey McCutcheon. And okay. Then. You know, Aubrey McCutcheon, now, he was our uh, head of our student council. And then he was our home room president in Mr. Dorothy room 202. You remember and, all that, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you remember Dorothy. Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, Dorothy. And, and, and he would write you up, but Aubrey told me, I'm making so much noise there in the library there. Aubrey told me, he said, listen, I'm going to tell, tell your brother. See, me and my brother didn't get along. <laughs> and he would tell my mama. <laughs> and you'd be in trouble, I see. I'd be in trouble. Ernest, so, did you graduate from Northwestern? Or? No, uh, at the 12th grade. I, <clears throat> I should have, but uh, I found my friends. Uh, they decided, you know, that... Uh, see, what happened is that... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, Elvis, you know, he got me a B for biology the first time, and <laughs> and uh, he helped me out the first car market. Okay, Elvis, you know Elvis, you know, and when he helped me, my mom was so proud of me. I got a big B in in, in biology, and then when second car market, I asked Elvis, "Would you help me, Elvis?" And he ever had his seat move. <laughs> oh, he got away from you. Yeah, he got his seat move. Oh, he ever had his seat move. And I'd go by the house there, and I see Shirley, you know, Shirley should know, the mayor, Judge Marion Wolves. Uh, I said, Shirley, is that what? No. And <laughs> I just seen Elbert go in the house. Couldn't catch up with him, huh? Yeah, but you just went to house his father with me. So you, so you actually didn't graduate and you got real close. Yeah, oh, okay. I, was, I didn't do my homework. Oh, that's okay. That's I was okay. hanging out. With my friend Benjamin. Was there anybody else in the, <laughs> any other members of your family that uh, after you left Northwestern, what did you do? Well, we joined the army. You joined the army. Yeah, see, we, um, John Francis. You know, he picked face filler and everything. Ben Hall and Armstead Booker and uh, Lawrence Davis. Well, we all decided to go into service. All went service together. Yeah, we all started, and you know, we right out there uh, on Warren Avenue near Wyoming, where the uh, Imperial plant used to be. That where it used to be Fort Wayne, and they had us all out there and had that waiting around. And uh, I said, we just live down the street. We want to go home. He said, no. <laughs> they didn't let us. They kept us there. Well, you joined waiting, up, you couldn't yeah, go. Yeah, you're waiting for ship. You, you're waiting to. To be shipped out, you know, I see. right up there at Fort Wayne. But now, before we get into your military, did you have any other? Was your other? Did your other brother go into service, or any other members of your family? Oh yeah, my brother went in uh, service in uh, what is that? Forty-three. You know, right after the, you know, doing about forty-three, I think it is. Him and uh, <coughs> Furnish Todd and uh, and and. Doctor, what's your, what your doctor, what's it, oh, uh, he's president of, you know, what the president of uh, the West Side, Charles, uh, Green? Charles Green, okay. they were in the Air Force. Okay. That